Welcome back to Book Chats. My name is Kay, and today I have a very exciting book haul and book unboxing. So for my birthday last year, my husband ordered me um, the special editions from Fairy Loot of Crescent City, House of Earth and Blood and Sky and Breath. And they have finally arrived. My birthday was, I think it was my birthday he ordered them for, and it was in August. And it's just been delayed a few times, but I'm so excited they're finally here. So I want to open them with you and show you what they look like. I've avoided all spoilers so far. So years ago, I did get a book from Fairy Loot, just one, and I've remained on their mailing list. So I happened to mention they were doing these special offers and he decided to get them as a gift. So I haven't seen anything about them. So this will be the first time seeing them. And I'm very, very excited. I, Crescent City, the first one, is one of my all-time favorite books. And I have, like, it holds a very special place in my heart because I read it when my son was really, really ill. And it was like the only thing that distracted me. So um, I'm so excited to see this. Let's open them now. If my dad was here, he'd take this knife away from me. He still takes knives away from me. I don't even live with him. If I'm visiting at home, he always comes and takes anything I'm trying to cut away. He says, I do it strangely. I'm going to now do it towards me. So if he's watching this, he'll have an actual panic. The only book I ever got from Very Loot did arrive damaged. So I'm really hoping these are safe and well packaged under here. Just, oh my God, they should be. Goodness me, look at these. Oh, they look like packing watsits. Goodness me. So there is a card with it. It says, don't forget to tag us in your photos. Oh, that's it. It says, don't forget to tag us in your photos. But cute, fairy loot card. There is so much packaging around these. Hopefully these will not be damaged because they are well wrapped. Oh my goodness, they're separate. Okay, which one's this? I cannot get this out of this box. These should not be damaged. These are so well packaged. House, birth and blood. That's the first one. So they are in a uh, hardcover slip case with um, Sergio Master's signature on the back. You can see the spine. And then number one on the front with the Crescent City logo. That is so pretty. Birds and angel wings. I don't know if you can see that. That is so pretty. So that is the first one. Before I take it out of the wrapping, I will pull out the second one. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Okay, this one's much easier to get out. House of Sky and Bread Fairy Loot exclusive with the signatures. And, oh, it's the same wings, but with snakes on this one. Oh my goodness. Okay, I hate taking stuff out of this King Film wrap, but I'm gonna have to. I like to keep things perfect, whatever. But well, now I'm scared to use a knife. Okay, so this is the first one, House of Earth and Blood. These cases are amazing, but I don't know if I can actually get the book out. Oh, wow. oh my goodness, that's so pretty, look at that. Oh, that's so pretty, oh my goodness. It's the front, spine, that's the back. And look at those frayed edges, it's just, Plain red on top. It's got a ribbon bookmark. Oh my goodness. And that beautiful dark red. That is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Look at those end papers. So it's Danica and. Oh. Okay, I'm going to take the sleeve off. Danica and Bryce on the end papers. I think that's Bryce there. Oh, and this is through love is all is possible. Oh my goodness, these are absolutely stunning. They might, actually might be pretty with the dust jackets off. That is so pretty. There's nothing under the dust jacket. It's completely plain under the dust jacket. But those end papers are amazing. What's on the back? Oh, the back is just as pretty. That's who's on the back. I hope you can see that, it's very hard to be told, but oh my goodness. Okay, so that is the first one with a ribbon bookmark. Obsessed, okay, and what does, pop it back in the cover, heaven forbid I drop these. Okay, so this is House of Sky and Breath. Oh, look at those spraying edges. I love that shade of blue, that is so pretty. So the front says House of Sky and Breath, with the snake theme. That is the spine. The back says light it up, which I'm surprised wasn't on the first one, but I can kind of 
see, maybe that's not the main quote. My favourite quote from these books is, um, it'll give away part of the book. If you haven't read it, you have to read it. My favourite part of the book is when she's talking about her friends always with her. That made me cry so hard. Love those sprayed edges. I love the shade of blue. It's like super dark on top and then it gets lighter on the side. Oh my goodness, that's a nice one. So that is the end pages. I love that wolf. That wolf is so pretty. Mermaid man on the back. I'm terrible with character names. I do know who all these people are in the story, but I'm terrible with names. But they are so pretty. Look at those sprayed edges. Isn't that stunning? So that is the second one. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy with those. Well worth the almost year long wait. I think it's been about a year. I'm not 100% sure, but oh my goodness, well worth the wait. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, so that's them together. Oh, so pretty. So that was very exciting. I'm so glad they finally arrived. Um, I did get some other books recently. My friends and family all live quite far away, either across this country or in a different continent. So people usually send me Amazon gift cards or other gift cards for birthdays and Christmas and such. And I had had quite a few saved up to put in pre-orders and such. And some of those started arriving. And some of these books I've had for a while, I got in the after Christmas Barnes and Noble's half price sale they had on card covers at the time. So I'll go through some of these I've got recently. But the first one I got was Diana Urban, Lying in the Deep, which is a murder mystery. And it's a retelling of um, Death on the Nile by Agatha Christie. Um, but this is written as a girl goes on a semester abroad program on a cruise ship, which I don't know if that's actually a thing, but if it is, that would have been so fun. They don't do that for nursing. Um, but it, is, it has a signed book play in it. So this is um, about a girl who goes on a semester abroad and she thinks that her ex-boyfriend, who is now dating her former best friend, are staying behind even though they're all supposed to go together. And then it turns out they're going to be on the ship and it's like a murder mystery rolling around her friend and it's it's really good it's very much like a YA mystery it's not like super thrilling or dark or anything but it is really fun read and it has enough changes from the original um story that it makes it really readable so really do recommend this one if you like like a not too terrifying thriller but I really like that one and the author seems so sweet she sent me a letter uh, when it was published and I don't know if it's in here she sent some like oh it is in here um a bookmark which is very cute the signed book plate obviously um this which is a a list of all the different decks and such, um, saying where everyone's sleeping and like sketchy Bob is marked so you can avoid him and all the different le le uh, levels, le floors, I don't know how you say that in a ship, different parts of the ship that they're on and different things so you know where the rooms are in the story, which is such a cool idea. And then some character art, which personally I don't know that sums up the characters super well, but that's the character art that she sent and um, that she had commissioned fun little extras with the book as well and it is one I really enjoyed. They were pre-order incentives, she didn't send it to me to promote the book or anything. Not sponsored. I have had this book for a while now and I have read it but it is the Chain of Thorns by Cassandra Clare, The Last and the Last Hour series which I really enjoyed. I do feel like for the length of the book it was very rushed at the end and some of the stuff in the middle maybe could have taken out but I, I love Cassandra Clare so it's fine. This does have beautiful under the, du under the dust jacket art, oh, that was hard to say. Um, which I was surprised that the Crescent City books didn't have, but they didn't. Anyway, um, so yeah, that is that one again. I've read this book and I, I just love this. I love the world of Shadow Hunters, so I'll always buy, auto by author and always really enjoy it. And that has really beautiful illustrations through it as well. Um, it's just been Mother's Day and this was the gift I received, which is um, The Ballad of Some Words and Snakes by Suzanne Collins. I wanted to read it before it turned into the movie. I think it's coming to Prime. I think it's Prime. One of the stream channels is having a movie version of this and the Hunger Games trilogy is still one of my favourite trilogies I've ever read. So I'm very excited to read this. Um, one, it is President Snow's villain origin story. Isn't that pretty? So looking forward to reading this before I see the movie. I always try to try and read books before I get to the movie. But I, again, I was absolutely huge fan of the original series. Hope this is just as good. And one I did get in the Barnes and Nobles sale um, after Christmas was um, the Atlas Paradox, the second in the Atlas six story and this is the Bantano special edition which is gold and it's very very pretty and the original book I had was the fairy loot special edition so I wanted to get one that had the same kind of styling to it and it is pretty on the end papers and that is under the dust jacket so pretty I haven't read this yet and um, I do really want to get to it I just haven't put it on TBI yet so hopefully it'll end up on the next or one very soon because I do want to know what happens I didn't love the first one in the series but I like the multiple sector point of view and I enjoyed the like dark academia kind of part of the book but there were some things that the characters said that 
I didn't really love, but I, I, I was interested enough for sure to know what carries on with the story and see what happens to everybody. So looking forward to reading that one. It's so shiny. I can see it reflecting in the camera. Pretty. Um, this is Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. I feel like absolutely everybody purchased this when it came out. Um, I had it on pre-order, so I was super excited about it. Beautiful sprayed edges. It's got beautiful M papers. Really pretty. Just a pretty book. Um, I don't like being negative about books, so I will say, to sound positive, it's always good to get your least favourite book out of the year out of the way early. So that has been achieved. It is pretty though, so that's something. Um, speaking of pretty books, I also have these two, which I got at the Barnes & Noble sale. Um, I love be beautiful editions of classic books, and I do want to read more of the Bronte sisters. I have read Jane Eyre, and I would like to read Rare Thring Heights soon. And these absolutely stunning, so you've got gold edges. I think they're the Chilton's, yeah, the Chilton Special Editions, and they have the floral theme and just absolutely stunning. So I have, yes, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte and Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. I don't know which one I think is prettier. I think that one, but I love them both. They're absolutely stunning. And they both have the ribbon bookmarks as well. So I'd love to get some more classics in this style. They're just so pretty, so pretty. I was very slightly disappointed when this one arrived. It was my um, Barnes & Noble Special Edition pre-order. I have had in since the first one came out. And the first one in this series has um, orange sprayed edges. So I just thought the second one would. But the Waterstone Special Edition did have blue sprayed edges, but the Barnes & Noble's one sadly never did. Which I'm really upset about, so I feel like it's a real missed opportunity. But um, I've read this now and I did enjoy it. I didn't enjoy it quite as much as the first one because there's like one of the plot lines in it. I just really didn't understand it. And I feel like as an adult reading a children's book, this should be, should be understandable. I don't know how children would follow it. But um, it is a really good book. This world that um, Skandar lives in. Look at that under the dust check, isn't that so pretty? Um, the world that Skandar lives in and operates in is just amazing. And the unicorn riding school she goes to, he goes to, sorry, is absolutely wonderful. So really, really enjoy the series. Highly recommend if you like your uh, like Harry Potter kind of style worlds, like a very immersive children's book world. Really, really like the series. And using up some Amazon vouchers I had recently, they have had a lot of books on um, buy one, get one free. And one of the ones I got was Buy a Thread by Lucy Score. Um, I, this will be my third Lucy Score book because I recently read The Things We Never Got Over, which is the first one in this series. And um, I really liked it. So I'm very excited to continue on. But these are very big books for a romance book. This follows a small town. In the first one, a girl moves there and um, it's like a romance between her and one of the local business owners. And this one is but one of his friends... No, his brother, sorry, and one of their, like, family friends have a, I think it's a second chance romance. It says it contains dog sitting, saying yes to being a bridesmaid, and listening to a police chief. I can't read that out loud. <laughs> Let's just move on. Um, anyway, so that is the second one in that series. Don't read the book out loud. And this one is a boss and employee romance. Um, again, she writes, Lucy Score writes really long books, but this one is about a, a girl that's fired on her first day in a new job. Something like that. It's, boss, it's supposed to be very funny, and it's, I, I just, I realise it's called Nancy it's my third or fourth book I've read by her, and I, I like the world that she builds, so I really forward to reading this one as well. Love a good buy and get one free, especially when you have a gift voucher. And from the Target buy and get half price, I got Icebreaker, and if you watch my channel regularly, you'll know I cannot bear sports romances, so I'm sure you're wondering why I got this one. But I did find out that the author is English, and apparently some of the humour didn't translate to America because the author makes English jokes, which intrigued me, and then I read lots of reviews that said it isn't a sports romance because there's almost no sport in it. So, brilliant, that sounds amazing, I'll definitely read that. And it's about a college ice skater who, um, something happens and injures her skating partner, she ends up having to skate with the head of the ice hockey team. I think, something like that. Um, but it just sounds really fun and apparently not too sporty. My issue with sports romance is I don't like when the main character's only thing is that they're sporty. That's not having a personality, that's just having a skill. I just I don't get it. When all of like, he's really good at his sport. I'm like, and? Is there more to him? No, nope, that's it. That's what I don't like in sports romances. And the other one I got was Practice Makes Perfect by Sarah Adams. This is part of a series, but I think they can be read as standalones because I don't really have much interest in the first one. The first one is about a girl who goes to a new town She's a celebrity and she has to hide out there or something. That isn't really my sort of thing. I might read it if this one's really good. But this one sounds amazing. And it's like a grumpy sunshine romance between a girl who is a florist, which, fun fact, I did go to floristry school after school. And so that sounded really interesting. And then she has this... Um, they have a romance with a guy. She's called Annie. He's called Will. And they have a romance where he is teaching her how to be less awkward and date by dating her. So you can all see where that goes. But I just, it sounds lovely. So I really wanted to read this one. And if it's a good series, I might go back. It's called the When in Rome series. So 
do I'd have some interest in the first one if this one's good, but this one, the plot sounds amazing. So I'm very much looking forward to that one. Sounds like a really cute summer romance to you. And then finally, two books that were new to me, but aren't technically new, were both book of the month books that I got off of somebody in like one go. And it's um, Alice Feeney, Daisy Darker, which is a retelling of, um, and then there were none by Agatha Christie, about a girl whose family is the darker family. She's Daisy and she gets taken back to an island for a friend reunion and they start getting picked off one by one. So that sounds amazing. And I also picked up The Writing Retreat by Julia Bartz, which I've heard mixed things about, but it sounds like such an interesting premise. Um, it is about a girl called Alex, who has all but given up her dreams of becoming a published author. Oh, I know how she feels. Until she gets a once in a lifetime opportunity to attend an exclusive month long retreat on the estate of a feminist horror writer. Even the knowledge that Ren, her former best friend and current rival is attending cannot dampen her excitement. But when she arrives, they drop a bombshell. They must all complete an entire novel from scratch during the next month, and the author will publish the best one. Um, and then they start having cruel mind games, haunting, and erratic behaviour. But when one of the writers vanishes during a snowstorm, Alex realises something very sinister is afoot, and the clock is running out. She must cover her, the truth or suffer the same fate. Doesn't that sound good? That sounds really fun. So I picked up these two. I don't have a Book of the Month membership. I'm often I used to, and I'm often tempted to go back. But it's... $15 a month and I think we've got up to $12 for add-on books and I just very rarely buy new books so committing $15 a month to a new book every month I would rather pick them up second hand which you normally can with book of the month because this is such a popular service so I just do that usually but these are new to me so I'm counting them thank you so much for watching please do like if you enjoyed subscribe if you liked to and comment down below if you read any of these books or what your most recent purchase was and I'll see you again very soon bye mm -hmm.